um, either either by balancing it with batteries, which is what I plan on doing. Mm -hmm. um, but it also doesn't have any of the video transmitter hardware on it yet. Ah. Yep, now it's yawing the other direction. <laughs> It's funny, with the GoPro on or off though, yeah. it's, there's almost no, um, yeah, it's bouncing around a little bit because of the wind, but uh, with the GoPro off or on, there's almost no difference in uh, how much power, lifting power it has. Uh, let's make sure if I... Good. I'm doing that. I'm just seeing if it's going to act weird. All right, should I get a little bold? Sure. <laughs> I'm just being very gentle. Maiden flight. <laughs> water. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not as jittery as the old frame. Uh, I do need to turn the, the games down just a little bit, though. It looks like it's really sensitive. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, the games are great when the air is still, Yeah. but when the wind blows on it a little bit, it, uh, yeah, it does that. <laughs> Which uh, I was I was told that would happen. Is it because of the programming? Uh, just the games are too sensitive. That's all. Ah. We, just, we just get oscillations. But even then, you know, that being said, it's still dealing with the breezes pretty well. Think I could chase RC cars with this? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Fly it down the track like that. And do, do aerial like Heck yeah, that'd be awesome. Aerial recording. <laughs> These motors use a little more power. Yeah. But uh, they also um, um, they're also a little bit more powerful. <laughs> However, these props are slightly more aggressive. Yeah. Well, okay. Here's the thing about these props. They are um, ten by ten by fives, mm -hmm. but um, they're more aggressive here at the front angle, and they're narrower than my gem fan props. So um, what I'm guessing is though, even those are 10 by five and the widest points here, um, uh, since there's not as much meat out here on the ends, I'm guessing they're probably about the same as the 10 by 4.5. So it's hard to say. But uh, yeah, I just gotta fiddle with the gains and, and stuff and, uh, and, uh, and, and all that, but I'm, I'm really happy with how it's flying. And right now, I mean, it's just, it's literally, there's no Loctite. This thing's basically just Velcroed together. So <laughs> I'm not gonna go crazy. But uh, yeah, maiden flight of the Reptile V550 TBS Discovery knockoff frame with uh, uh, Angel, no, I'm sorry, a Sunny Sky 980 um, uh, X2212 motors, Gropner 10x5 props, um, Hobby King plush 25 amp speed controllers, KK2.0 board, a Hobby King distribution board, Turnigy 2100 mil battery, and the, their uh, nine channel. Um, their uh, their nine channel um, receiver, but I'm, I only have a seven channel radio. But you know, whatever. Yeah, cool. Thanks for watching.